indulge in the exotic flavors of Morocco with this delicious beef tagine recipe. High protein beef with a blend of aromatic spices, olives and apricots combined to create a delicious and hearty meal that is perfect for chilly evenings and it's easy to make at home with a few simple ingredients. Hi, I'm nutritionist Scott Bapte and in this video from my high protein kitchen I'm going to show you how to make a winner of a recipe that is ideal for midweek meal prepping. The ingredients in this stew are fairly typical of Moroccan cuisine. We've got the delicious warming aromatic spices along with the sweetness coming from the apricots. You should easily be able to get everything down in the local supermarket and hopefully the whole family will love this recipe as well. Right, let's get cooking. This is how you make Moroccan beef and apricot tagine. Okay, first things first, you're going to slice two red onions. I'm using red onions for this recipe because I think they just have a nicer flavor, just slightly sweeter, and I think it complements the apricot rather well. But you could easily use white onions, up to you. So slice them and then pop them in a bowl and then do the same with one red pepper. Again, if you don't have a red pepper, it's okay. You can use another color, but I just think red works best in this recipe. Once you've set those veggies aside in a bowl, you want to finely slice 10 dried apricots. These are going to add a delicious sweetness to the recipe. If you're not keen on them, you could use raisins or sultanas instead. For protein, we're using lean frying steak. It's really economical and you want to just thinly slice that into nice small pieces. And then also at this point in the video, it'd be great if you could hit that like button. I would really, really appreciate it. Then it's time to get frying. So you want to heat a large pan on a medium heat and put some oil in it and then fry those veggies until they start to turn nice and golden brown. Then you want to add two garlic cloves, either finely chopped or pressed, and fry them for a further 30 seconds to a minute. Then you want to add a Moroccan spice blend. You can get these from most supermarkets. They're just called Moroccan spice, or you could use Ras El Hanout or even Harissa paste if you can't find the Moroccan spice mix. Then add your chopped apricot along with two tablespoons, about 30 grams of tomato puree, and then add the sliced steak to the mixture. You don't need to fry it beforehand. Just put it in raw is fine, along with 500 mils of vegetable, chicken or beef stock. Mix all of that through and then reduce the heat to low, pop the lid on it and simmer it for about 25 to 35 minutes. But then once it's almost ready, just add some olives. Again, you can skip these if you're not a fan. Stir through so they can heat up and then just all you need to do from there is start to plate it up. I think the best thing to serve this recipe with is couscous, but it also works with rice and also garnish with plenty of fresh parsley. So there we go. Delicious plate of Moroccan beef and apricot tagine. You saw how easy it was to make. I mean, what, that took us less than an hour total prep and cooking time. So great option for midweek. But I've also served this at dinner parties before and it's gone down really well. So. All that's left is for me to go and eat it. This is going to be my lunch. And before you leave, it would be great if you could hit that like button. And if you are a new viewer, please do subscribe because that way you'll see lots more of these high protein recipes. Thanks again for watching. I'll speak to you soon.